guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the free to play account. We're gonna do some summons on here, gonna show you a Volta time update on where we're at. Now it has been roughly 24 hours, right around 25, 26 hours since we started the Volta time. Now overall we are in honorable, but we are not competitive by any nature um, with the run that we're doing on the free to play account. So let's get into the summons and then again, we'll take a look at the Volta time. So again, going in here, we're gonna pop open all of these chests, get some extra diamonds out of there. Maybe we'll be able to do a summon in here, but we do have 17 rare stones. Now I haven't went on this account and actually done on the Misty Valley as of yet. We have three elite stones, which do not give us anything but garbage in there, guys. And then of course the superb elite, boom, we get a copy of a Theo. Now we just did, um, we got a free copy of a Theo out of the inviting a hero. We picked up a Theo because we have him at Mythic Plus, but that is a second copy of a Theo. Now, in addition, guys, we have Eugene. We need one more fragment and we will actually have another full copy. Now, one thing to note with Eugene is they have said that there is another event that is coming up, which is gonna be, I think, the Magician's Hat. And it, through that event, you're gonna have the ability to get one more full copy of the Awakened version of Eugene, which means that we could already have him built at Mythic. That one will give us one copy. And then of course, we're gonna have the reset, which is going on in a couple days to get another copy out of those guild stores. Um, and I wanna share um, a, a couple, a, a trick, I guess, out of here that a viewer actually mentioned. Um, looking at the Misty Valley, picking up some of the guild coins. So a lot of players said that they were struggling with the guild coins because everything that they're spending is going to rate into um, building out Eugene. But I believe one of the notes in here or one of these have 30,000 guild coins, guys. So that is almost half of a copy. And again, this might just be for a short amount of time, but that is almost half of a copy if you are not maxing those guild coins out every single week. If you're falling behind like I am on the guild coins, that is going to be a really cool thing to get um, if you do have them in here. And of course, guys, we are, again, picking up those copies of Eugene, and I'm pretty close. Even those 30,000 would push me over getting my final piece to get him up to that mythic level, which again is really, really cool. Um, make sure that you're dedicated in getting him. I think he's gonna be a very, very strong hero overall when we do have the opportunity to actually build him out. Now, Vithiel, again, I'm not sure if that is enough or if we're still one or two copies away. Because remember guys, we're still building out Liberta, but there's Vithiel. We have two copies there and one actual, we need one. We need one copy to actually take him and build him up a little bit further. Now, Liberta, I believe we need one as well. We do. We need one copy as well um, to actually put a star on him, go ahead and engrave him. And then, of course, we'll finish out Vithiel. We are also building out the Awakened version of Athelia. We have one extra copy right there already at Mythic. And I believe at this point that is our fifth, possibly sixth. Maybe our, maybe our fifth or sixth Awakened Hero that we have um, all the way up to Ascended with one star on the free to play account. So definitely need to do some focus in here, guys. Hopefully between the scrolls, we can get lucky. Wishlist is still set on Priority Heroes, guys. We have Ivan in here. We have Trishia in here. Um, I dropped um, Naruko. We have Vika in here. And then we do have Jerome. And we also have Palmer as well. So maybe we can pull some of our elite heroes in here or maybe not at all. 14 in here, I'll go ahead and do Wilders. Not too real concerned with what we pull, but there is a copy of Oku. And then one right here, guys. And a double, look at that. It is, look, we unlock. We got an unlock of Lucila. So we got Vathiel and we got Lucila and both of them, guys, incredibly lucky to get through just the stones and the regular summons. That's really cool. I was hoping to pick up some diamonds. Sometimes this bugs out a little bit on um, blue stacks to get your diamonds. And we got Palmer, guys. That is a pretty good pull right there. I'm definitely happy with that. Now, of course, Liberta, we need one copy, guys. That is what we're looking for. We got super lucky last time we did this. Um, and unfortunately, not a copy there. But let's go ahead and use some of these diamonds up. Maybe, just maybe, we could do it again, guys. And pull that one copy. There's a light bear card. Now we're close to 5,000. We actually got these ones, I believe, out of the event. And I know we're close to a couple other ones. But unfortunately, not another pull there. Even here, we have six cards. Now these are coming out of buying them every single day. So we are um, putting that 500 diamonds into buying these cards every day. If you ever want an opportunity to actually build out these Awakened Heroes, guys, it is really the only way, unfortunately, that you're going to do it. 
is putting your diamonds into it. And unfortunately, they're nothing really as well when it comes to the summons. Again, overall, not super bad. I, I mean, I'm, I'm happy with the summons today. Let's go to the Oak Inn. We'll do some pulls in here. We have 15,000 furniture and again, or 15,000 pull coins. Again, looking near guys, we have a Theo, which we can build out. Lava Tune, we do not have, which again, after we build out Liberta, we'll actually build up um, Lava Tune a little bit. And looking at our storeroom, guys, we have some copies for Athalia. We have some in there for Vithiel. We have what? Wow, Vithiel's one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. We already have six in there for Vithiel, guys. We're gonna have to remember that. And again, one more copy of Liberta, one more copy of Vithiel. There is a copy for Ivan. Ivan, we're already utilizing. Super, super strong hero, guys. And there's a double Vithiel in Lava Tune. So that is what, seven? I think that is seven for Vithiel. We're almost gonna be able to just move him to that nine of nine furniture, which of course is just gonna be phenomenal, guys. Adding some more pieces on there. Let's recycle whatever else we have. Not enough, is it? Not enough for another summons. But again, with these cards, guys, we are looking to build out and max out Liberta. So we are right there. That gives the eight of nine. So we're literally right there. One more, and then we will have him up to that nine of nine means completely maxed out guys wish list definitely getting there because that will be the nine of nine again a theo we have but theo we have a couple other pieces in here that will continue to build now we are also continuing with the beast grounds guys i'm trying to get to 12 we are trying to take all of these beasts to 12 is um what we're looking for now the panda is in there we're doing summons for the panda and there's another copy of the panda you know what i might just go ahead and build the panda up to where we have him because I know this is actually going to give us a couple copies back, I believe, at this point. There we go. So we got 11 pandas. I'm just going to quick upgrade them. And I know this is this is the trick that everyone kind of talks about, um, getting these free copies returned. But we got a couple. We got a couple free copies. I want to use the panda. So so that's one of the main things, guys. So even here, let's go ahead and you know what? Let's keep it in there. Let's keep the panda. Let's build them up a little bit. But we have this one in there, which is two of three. We could actually get what up to 12. So, do we have we have three? Let's grab a couple more wing line copies. And I'm thinking just here, guys, building this one out a little bit because that takes them to 11. And of course, we need three more in there, which we do have two and three. So, that takes our another beast up to 12. And there we go, guys. That is another beast up to 12, adding a little bit more in there with the wing line, but like I said, with the resonance, that takes one, two, three, already 12 right there, which means we're stopping at 12 for these. So we're dropping this one out. I'm gonna drop Talisman in there. Now I believe, Tal or not Talisman, Talisman is already built. That's right, so we'll drop out Talisman. We already have that one built. Um, the Moth is good, the Owl is good. Let's go in here with the Rock Lizard. Rock Lizard is another one, guys, that is good. But let's see where we have these built out. Now, Rock Lizard's only at zero copies. Moth, or excuse me, the Owl is at one, and then Panda is at none. The rest of these guys, I don't think we have any copies, which there's the Moth. You know what, we have one for the Moth already. I'm gonna drop out one. Again, getting that Moth up, so we need two more copies of the Moth to go to 10. And of course, Rock Lizard is out, but Alice Main's already built, and then we'll keep the panda in there. That'll work, guys. That will definitely work for what we're looking to build out of here. Starting to go through these weeklies. Now, for the Abyssal Expedition, like I said, guys, an update. Um, we started yesterday. We went through. We farmed up. Now, one big trick that a lot of players are kind of stuck at is when you look at acquiring a certain amount of essence, you can actually expedite this through selling relics. So as you see right here, guys, 38,600. If we go in here and actually sell some of these relics off, um, that is going to give us additional relics right there. Now we're from 38 to 40. So if you're really struggling to this, you can sell some of your relics. Make sure they're not ones that you are going to use, guys, um, because if you go ahead and sell those off, of course, you're gonna get a lesser or a discounted price for that. But we definitely wanted to go through there. Um, and right now, I mean, we're already at Baron. We're almost to, to Viscount. I can drop out a couple places because remember, we are building all Warrior. Warrior is the one that we're building in here, guys. So I can actually go in here, combine these up. 
There we go. So we do have a warrior already at level three. We also do have the Noble Blade. Now, when it comes to specific heroes I put in here, again, because we're kind of limited, I put in some of my support heroes in here, also put in quite a few warriors. This is going to give me enough before I get to Viscount, before I get to the Star Dawn to actually go through here, take some tier threes, take some tier fours, um, get this leveled up to where we need to be. As you can see, guys, tier fives are dotted everywhere through here because the majority of players, again, at this level, um, not being competitive, not really pushing through a lot of the content here. I'm gonna start dropping my tier twos that we have in some of the probably tier threes. Um, going to fours, fives, I do not see the ability or the, the viability really to push to that level yet. But as long as I can move through here, and again, I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna clean up a lot of these threes and fours. We're gonna match this out. We're gonna increase the essence that we have out of here which means we're gonna be able to, again, go right to Viscount. Once we go to Viscount, we can actually move right into the zone and continue just going straight through here. Now, again, we're not looking on the leaderboards on this one. We're not looking for a ton of progression, but with the militia that we have, guys, we're doing pretty well going through here and making sure that we can make progression and also making sure that we're gonna finish it. That, that's the big thing, guys, is all the players in here. And you'll notice even down here, um, look at all the zero combat ratings, guys. Even looking at an honorable enrollment, and I know some of these are Star of Dawn, but looking even at an honorable enrollment, we do have quite a bit, especially more than we do have for our Star of Dawns, um, which we have, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Star of Dawns. So some of those are literally just players that spent 3,000 diamonds. As of right now, they're AFK or they're not playing really at all and not making progression, which unfortunately, again, that's kind of what we've seen. And we do continue to see where I wish it would remove it. I wish it would do something um, just for an inactive player. Let's say after, you know, 48 hours of the start, if they don't do anything, that they just get moved or removed or whatever. Um, if anyone else was looking to get the Abyssal Expedition. But overall, guys, I'm pretty happy with the progression. Again, we'll get to Prince. It'll just take a little bit of time to get there on the free-to-play account. But definitely happy with the progression. Just got to get a couple more heroes in here and we will be all set to go. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.